search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. No. Oh, just wanted you to meet my new pals for the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides round here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without the shovel. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the ploughing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal... About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, 
I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed. Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Washed your hair lately? Well, well, another freak. <clears throat> Washed your hair lately? Well, well, another freak. <laughs> Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on. How do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm. Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we Not your concern. Back to your post. Guards from Siggy River.
Got eyes like a cat. You Got their asses whipped like a Novigrad whore. You surprised? Need to talk to you. About? Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error. A mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses? Huh? <laughs> that one of your Witcher games? Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door. Now. Here's Roach. She'll take us to Kaer Morhen. Well, come on. Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. Come on. 
What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Bangli. If I may, your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. is needed perfect but remember i'm not your soldier or page or dog so don't give me any orders would you prefer i order my guards look around i need only beckon Geralt. now report siri well this man is the key to finding her <laughs> I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen. I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task. I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse. Someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Fine. This audience is over. Till the next. Oh. 
So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here. Probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen. Quite a while. Too long. And your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Hmm. <laughs> what have we here? Multiple deformities. Eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair, lip. And is this... <laughs> now, now, calm down. Yennefer was right on one count. Thing sure isn't pretty. Yen's here already. And how? <laughs> you two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in. Not even a nice to see. Jumps right into a we've a curse to lift. There's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. Then she went to the guest room to rearrange things. Through the bed, off the balcony. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck.
again. Damn it. What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? Gotta take care of something. Wait for me. Sure. to blow us up? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests, especially dull ones. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail Spinal Fluid, the other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. All right, I'll talk to them. Anything else? Yes. There's one other trifling matter. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta. Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Nothing here. signal.
Signal's growing stronger. Shit, lost the signal. Oh, got a signal. Signal's growing stronger. Can't be far now. So, Yennefer found a volunteer to walk. A chirping stick, after all. Can we talk? So long. Yes? What is it, Wolf? See you later, Vesemir. Witcher and Warmer. Driver took off. Hot. Interesting. Not afraid of silver. Ah, there you ah. are. Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Ah, there you are. Ah. Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Mounted witchering just never took off. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the Megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Uma. Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. But no matter. More importantly, I shall finally be able to contact Ida. The Ida? Elvin Sage? What do you want from her? Stay and you'll learn for yourself. Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Cadmel Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Kedmil and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. 
It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Vafel Elen, Ked Mil Foli, Gledev Don Eptenid, Bondro Isne Iacos. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse, but I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Enzavern. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. Let me guess, you want something in return. If I may, Gwynblade, I'd like to request... Stop guessing, just listen. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade. For you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar, despite my asking you not to. I'm sorry. It's just when Ida started in with that patronizing tone. You decided to prove she was completely justified to adopt that attitude. Well done, Geralt. Bravo. Oh, oh, enough. Finish whatever it was you and the boys were planning to do. Then we'll begin. 